Tired of losing games in Madden 23? Whether you're having trouble scoring on offense. Help me! Help me! Or you can't stop anyone on defense. <laughs> this is the video for you, as I'm going to show you several easy cheats that you can use in every game to get a big advantage. So if you want to see what I'm doing to get results like this, oh my God. stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to go over 7 easy cheats that 99% of Madden players didn't even know that they could do that give you a huge advantage on offense, defense, and even special teams. But before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want even more help, you can also check out my ebooks as they all come with a free tips and strategy guide that explain everything from how to make adjustments on offense or defense and how to read and beat every single defense in a game. So if you guys want to see more, just click the links in the description with the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. First I'm going to start off with a special teams tip as I recently put out a full tips video just about things you can do on special teams including the tip that I'm going to show you in this video about how to get more kickoff return touchdowns. So if you want to see more tips like this I will have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video so stick around for that. The tip is a very simple one but I don't see enough people doing it when I play online games. If you play any online games you probably have noticed that most players would rather kick short to your slow fullback rather than risk a larger return by kicking to your faster return man deep. But what if I told you that by making a simple adjustment in your depth chart before or during the game, you would actually be able to get even more kick return touchdowns in game when your opponent does this. It's very simple. All you have to do is change out whoever is playing fullback in your depth chart, whether it's an actual fullback or in most cases a backup tight end. Just put your fastest non-starting running back at this spot so that you have enough speed and when your opponent kicks to the fullback, simply sprint wide around the kick return coverage and you will notice that because of the dramatic angle of the fullback kick that a lot of times the coverage unit will overcommit, leaving no one outside here to stop the return man. This also works if your opponent tries to kick to the fullback and accidentally kicks it too far reaching the actual return man. If this happens you can take the exact same route and often have similar success as the kick return coverage unit often overcommits to balls kick this far to one side. Next up I'll be going over offensive tips starting with pass leading. This next tip can only only be done from the new skill based passing settings of placement and accuracy because it gives you much more control and a wider range of pass leading options. So if you're using classic passing you will have to go to your settings and change it to this to get the benefit but trust me it's worth it as this is just one of the benefits of the new system. Most people think that pass leading is just to the left or right or even up to say split the safeties on a deep pass against perhaps a cover 2 man or a cover 2 zone but what most people don't know is that you can get an even more dramatic pass lead by actually hitting the direction stick to the left or right and then down towards you. Doing this will increase the pass lead away from the defenders even more as you can use this type of pass lead to completely bend passes around defenders at angles that make pass defense even harder for your opponent, making your passing game that much harder to stop. Next up, when throwing deep passes like this, it's best to try to rack catch so that you can run through the ball for bigger gains after the catch. But what is the best way to do this? Most people think that it's best to switch on to the receiver and immediately hit the sprint button, but through my experience, this usually allows the defender to catch up. I have found over time that the best way to track the deep ball while also gaining speed and runoff separation is by continuously tapping the rack catch button which is the X or square button over and over as fast as possible and you will notice you will get much more consistent runoffs that will also remove the need to time hitting the catch button. Next up I will go over a glitch that most people don't even know exists and that is the hash marks glitch as you can gain several advantages in the passing game based off of where you are on the field between the hash marks. If you don't know the hash marks are the markers where the ball is spotted in the middle of the field between plays. If you have ever bought one of my ebooks, you will notice that a lot of the one play touchdowns require being run from a hash mark to the open side of the field or vice versa. And this is because of things like the amount of space required for plays to work. But the real reason is that the safeties and quarterbacks are programmed to react differently based on where they are in relationship to the hash marks on the field. For example, this is a play that I recently used in my latest gameplay where all you have to do is put every route on a streak except the corner route and motion out the tight end. But 
different receiver will get open based off of where you are on the hash marks. I'm going to focus on cover three defense for this example, and I'm also only going to focus on the two wide receivers on the streak and corner route. If I run this play from the middle of the hash marks, no one will get open at all, not the corner route or the streak. But if I run this play again from the hash mark to the short side of the field, you will notice that the cornerback on this side reacts to the streak, allowing the corner route to get wide open as the cornerback follows the streak deep. But if I flip the play and I run to the open side of the field, you will notice that the cornerback will now react to the corner route laying the streak get wide open deep for an easy one play touchdown so always be aware of where you are on the field and if you want to see more information about this glitch you can learn more about this in my ebooks links in the description and top pin comment my next tip is in the coaching adjustments. Most offensive coaching adjustments are completely useless, but if you ever run with a quarterback and notice how easily they fumble the ball or your running back fumbles the ball despite the fact that you're holding the RB or R1 button to protect it, you might want to kick it up a notch and set your ball carrier to conservative in the coaching adjustments. I do this every single game as this will completely remove fumbling from your offense entirely. Try it out and you will notice that even your quarterback, which is typically fumble prone, won't fumble the ball anymore and you won't even have to hold the button to protect the ball at all either. Switching over to defense, I am first going to start with a tip that someone asked me about just yesterday, and that is how to quickly cycle through players on defense. This is one tip that I'm sure 99% of players probably know by now, but if you are still hitting the B or circle button until you land on the player you want to use her, do yourself a favor and try this instead. EA added a feature several years ago that allows you to hold the B or circle button and then use the directional stick to quickly choose what player you want to use her rather than cycling through the entire defense. Next up, for years, the quarterback sneak and fullback dive from the goal line package has been the meta and one of the hardest plays to stop when trying to keep people out of the end zone or in a critical fourth and inches situation. Every year, people come up with different defenses to try to stop these plays, but this year, the best defense that I've found is out of the 60 out jacks from the goal line 6-2. This defense stops both plays because both inside linebackers blitz to stuff the middle with almost no adjustments. The only adjustment that I make so that this defense stops both is to crash the D-line inside to take away any inside run space before I use either of the inside linebackers and hover the center gap pre-snap. If you do this, you will notice that the quarterback will have nowhere to go on the QB sneak and will usually hit his knee on the ground before going anywhere, resulting in no gain and a loss of down. My next tip is how to get more interceptions, and it is very similar to the exact same concept I went over on offense when it came to rack catching. Sometimes when going for an interception, if you hit the catch button too early or too late, you will get an early or late pass breakup penalty that will result in a drop in something that should have been an interception. If you want to remove this need to time to catch on defense, all you have to do once again is tap the wire triangle button repeatedly to make the catch. I do this every time and trust me, I get a lot of picks. In fact, I recently put out a gameplay where I had an NFL record 9 interceptions against Josh Allen, so trust me. If you want to see that gameplay, I'll once again have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up shortly at the end of this video once again. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed enjoyed the content please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button leave it in the comment section if you want to see more about the videos that i mentioned earlier i will have links popping up on screen so if you want to check them out just click the links and i'm sure it'll help out your game other than that thanks for watching man we should out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below